This is an algorithm I built that can recognize traffic lights using a webcam. When you and I see signs on the road, it's pretty easy to understand that that is a sign and it means stop. Well, at least for most people. But if you've ever taken the time to just step back and appreciate how good our brains are at doing this, despite rain, snow, sun, no sun, too much sun, different angles, sizes, or even shapes, your brain can still recognize specific patterns arranged in a specific order as an object with a meaning. And the funny thing is, we don't even really know how we do it ourselves. In deep learning, there's this quote I like that says that the most difficult problems in AI are those that are easy for people to perform, but hard for people to describe. And I find that kind of fascinating. If you look at the objects in this image, just try to explain in real English words how you are able to identify what each object is. There's no text or labels, we're just able to intuitively recognize the patterns between this object and the rest. So it's no surprise that explaining all this to a computer in the form of ones and zeros is quite a difficult challenge. For this project, I wanted to take a live footage from a webcam and return some sort of annotated version with boxes and labels for different street objects that in certain conditions could even return some instructions for what to do in say the event of a stop sign. So in this video, I'm going to go over exactly how I made this thing and I'm also going to go over some of the fun mistakes I went through on the way. Okay, so at a fundamental level, computers see things via pixel values from 0 to 255 in three different layers of red, green, and blue that combine to give us all the other colors and ultimately an image. That means that when we input an image into a computer, we're really just inputting a list of numbers from which a computer has to find and recognize patterns and objects. The most common way actual computers do this is using a convolutional neural network or a CNN. Not that CNN, that CNN. Explained briefly, a CNN takes an image and runs some 3x3 grid of numbers called a kernel and multiplies it through the image. This kernel multiplies and adds the results of the surrounding pixels creating some pretty cool patterns from which we are able to recognize objects when we compress it far enough. For example, this is a kernel that blurs images and it has all even values, whilst this is a kernel that highlights vertical edges. My model is trained on two different CNNs. The first is Google's Inception V3 model, and it's trained on millions of images and thousands of classes. This model identifies all the street objects in the scene, like the cars and the people and the bikes and the trains. And I then crop out the box around this object and color the box border, giving the object a boundary. In the case that the object is a traffic light, it moves on to phase 2. Phase 2 being the second scene then that's made to identify the color of the traffic light. Since Inception V3 doesn't itself come with this feature, I had to download and save a bunch of cropped out images of traffic lights into a folder and create my own data set of red, yellow, and green lights whilst training my own model on that data. And after labeling all the objects, it draws them on onto an annotated version with labels and boxes that identify each object. After creating and importing the data and models, I loaded it up and it performed suboptimally. I mean, it would work, but like most of the time it would just be wrong or not even detect the light. I figured the only reason this could be happening is because the data set was too small. So I went full maniac and hand sorted a thousand different images of traffic lights, which improved the accuracy enough to work. So then I took this algorithm and created a live annotated version with my webcam setup that would process each frame at 20 FPS. It was actually not 20 FPS and unbelievably, incredibly slow, but that's okay enough. And live test one actually semi worked. Obviously, I noted a lot of problems already. First of all, it was identifying our own car as a car in the model, along with some other random objects that created these huge giant boxes that made the whole thing a mess. So I added a bit of code that basically capped the size a box could be. But just to be sure, I also cut out all the cars that had less than a score of 20. From what I saw, if a car was worth being highlighted, it probably had a score above 20. Most false guesses tended to always be under that. I also added a tolerance piece that basically said that if boxes were with within 25 pixels of each other, then they were probably duplicates and should be deleted. And with those changes, this is the final result. You can see that there's obviously some errors and this definitely isn't perfect, but to me at least, this works surprisingly well. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback on this project in the comments. Initially, I also had this idea to integrate road lines and crosswalk detection into the algorithm. So if you'd like to see all that integrated in, let me know and otherwise, thank you very much for watching.